building sales and you can build profit all you want that's not what i want it's all about being respectful i'm not a slave i don't work for you i don't know what to do with some people i just want to punch them in the face sometimes are you ready for some jaw-dropping heart-pounding action look no further than the latest episode of undercover boss where the CEO himself went undercover to get a first-hand look at the operations of his own company. Brace yourself as we reveal the explosive moment when the undercover boss brutally fired this employee, leaving everyone stunned and speechless. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment of this unforgettable episode. Now, whatever made this boss cry at his own company out of disgust, let's find out. The CEO, Kobe Brooks of Hooters, visited his franchise and was stunned to see how the manager Jimbo, more like Dumbo, treated the girls there. It's unlikely you don't know Hooters, a company based only on three principles, chicken wings, beers, and pretty girls. Which means these girls who work there are the company's assets, not just plain employees. But it looks like this manager failed to understand the concept. Jimbo first asked the girls to step forward one by one, and then he proceeded to fire some uncomfortable questions to Scotty, aka Kobe, about how the girls looked. It looks style to me. Okay, makeup, is it on? Yes. She looks like a Hollywood starlet. Yes. Right? Okay, that's what we're looking for. Jim is straight up ugly with his words. You can see it right here. Raina? Is that right, Raina? <laughs> Compliment her on her lack of nails. My, those are some non glamorous nails you have. Have a seat. Jeez, did you see the look on Scotty's face? He was disgusted already by the way Jim treated the girls, but the ugly truth was yet to be revealed. Scotty said that he thought Jim was clear about what the brand was, but he definitely did not know how the brand should be treated. Jimbo was an employee who had a serious attitude problem. Not only did he show a complete lack of respect towards the company and his colleagues, but he openly displayed his hatred for children in front of customers. Can you believe it? This is not only unprofessional, but it's downright alarming. It's no wonder that the CEO had to step in and take action. This kind of behavior cannot and will not be tolerated in any workplace. So let this be a wake-up call to others as well. We must always strive to be kind, respectful, and compassionate, no matter who we're dealing with. Because in the end, it's our attitude that defines us and sets us apart from the rest. But that's not the end of Jimbo's story. He was later found bragging to Scotty about how he made the girls play reindeer. And what he said next would disgust you too. Are you serious? No. Oh, no. Oh As a heart attack. This next clip would make you feel so bad. Now, imagine how the CEO would have felt knowing this was the way his employees were treated here. Mm, oh, look. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> Brianna, how are they, baby? Oh, they look tasty. Come in with me. How would you feel if you were the CEO of this branch? Disgusted but helpless? I know for sure I would have broken my cover and given him one good earful for sure. But Scotty, who tried to keep his, got emotional seeing this. <laughs> It's hard for me on this one to bite my tongue. If I could break cover, I would sit down. And why wouldn't he say that? It was very disrespectful even for me to watch. He just left the place. Mmm. Yeah. The things I saw today were, they were inappropriate. They were wrong. I don't want any part of it. He was so frustrated by that behavior that he called the franchise owner first thing after his shift. And what do you know, Jimbo was obviously getting fired from the job because no one needs his ugly ass behavior at the restaurant. In the end, Scotty, AKA the CEO, called Jimbo to his office. And this is what happened. Scotty, what's going Good on, see. buddy? Jimbo? Well, you cannot miss the face he made when he realized he had made a mess. Uh, I am not Scotty. Okay. I'm Kobe Brooks, the president and CEO of Hooters of America. Ah. But I think by now, we all know what kind of guy Jim is. Obviously, he won't talk straight and forget about apologizing. Man, it works. Shame on me if it's a bad thing being uber competitive. And I do have a track record building sales. and You can build profit all you want. That's not what I want. It's all about being respectful. I hope you understood that work culture is the main concept here. People should feel safe and loved working with them and not be disrespected like he did. The CEO had to actually tell him that he had two daughters and up until now, he felt fine with them working at Hooters. But knowing there would be managers like Jim, the CEO was now uncomfortable with the idea. 
and I think it was a nice approach to make the jerk of a manager understand things from another perspective. But in this next episode, things take a whole new turn when the cover finally gets blown. I've heard terms today that I've never heard before. He is a little bitch. He's definitely made. Wait until you hear how he made his first impression on his boss. I was a little bit intimidated by If that's how you talk about a man who just wanted to learn a thing or two about the job and was respectful to you, man, you are such a loser. What you're looking at now is an employee who just couldn't keep his disrespect in check. Despite the fact that he was dealing with none other than the CEO of the company, this guy just kept pushing his luck. He disregarded all boundaries and common courtesy and acted as if he was untouchable. But let me tell you, that kind of behavior has consequences. And in this case, it resulted in a brutal firing that left everyone stunned. The CEO by now had enough of him, and low-key thought he was putting on an act. Is it because of the camera? Actually not. He calls the general server manager to have a quick chit-chat about it. But there's no telling, Wes. I just had a mandatory meeting with my friend. If any questions or concerns that I can talk about, they one raised their hand. Everyone is so intimidated by him that when asked if they had any problems, they never answer. She even said the kitchen is the worst, and what followed were so many vile words of abuse. The CEO was actually feeling nostalgic as he remembered the time he was a dishwasher and was a victim of bullying. He was very clear that he won't tolerate something like that happening at his own restaurants. He even said he'd rip off the franchise papers if he needed to, but he'd make sure this stops. This was a boss who believed that he cannot change his past, but could certainly help with someone else's future. Well, how many times do you come across people like this? Rarely. When the boss finally revealed his identity to the bully, his face turned red. But then things took a turn. When this ruthless employee was face to face and the CEO told him he was not very happy about it, he had the audacity to ask him sarcastically if that way of pushy speaking was not allowed. Honestly, what is this man made of? Now that you know who he is, are you still talking back to him? Man, the audacity. Is it for real? Meanwhile, the CEO kept his cool and tried to make him understand the problem here. He stressed especially on the fact that they were high school kids and should be treated well. But what did this jerk have to say? His response will numb you. I have asked Sean and Red to be here today. Put them right here. Please come in. He asked the franchise owner what should be done. And honestly, I don't think he'd answer anything different other than what we are all thinking at this point. No one should be allowed to treat employees this way. And hence, they had to let him go. Um, go on. It's the decision that child would like to make. I'm not going to change me. We hope the work environment is better now with no bullying included. Bullying can be a pervasive problem in many areas of life, from schoolyards to workplaces, but regulated and monitored environments might help individuals to avoid feeling judged or pressured, which is exactly what we need in the world today. But this next employee who was good for nothing tried to act up with his boss. Will the boss let it pass or will he end up taking her case? This one was one hell of a ride. For the uninitiated, Retro Fitness is a booming business in the fitness industry with over 300,000 members. But one member was about to be brutally sent out from here. Wondering who? Stay tuned to know more. The reality show to win his own gym. You definitely cannot expect these lazy people to work because my girl here, the front desk manager Jacqueline, admitted that all she did during her work hours was pass time. Front desk. Here. All right. I'm walking. Hey, how you doing? Is that why you work? Yep. Wow. You know what? The concern on the boss's face has me crying, but that's valid. She's on her phone instead of working, obviously. Customers won't approach her because they think she's busy, but she had the nerve to ask what else she was supposed to do because there's nothing to do unless someone came up and asked for something. But hey, you could do literally anything instead of actually being on the phone. And just like others, she was totally disrespectful towards the undercover boss. They don't know anything. They don't know how to use a machine. So they're over here looking like doing the machine. And then what is this behavior? Insulting people in the people's business? Really? Ma'am, that's a low blow. I hope you realize that. Brain dead if you can't get it. So if you look at that and can't understand it, then you should probably turn around and not do this. All right. But you know what? This one was hard stuff. What's funny is how the CEO reacted to it. Realize that maybe we should have renamed the Jacqueline's Juice Bar because it seems like she's got her own way of doing everything. Go to the top. Right. Don't overflow it because then you'll make a mess. Right in the sink. 
Yeah. Yeah. Perfect shape. I noticed that there was like extra in here. Like, what do you, do you guys I like make samples out. out of that? You don't offer I it to just, the member nope. at all? Just dump it out. If they want it, they can take it, but if not. Yeah, and she just picked the leftover smoothie in the mixer and dumped it right into the drain. Imagine, the cost was divided through it all, and she had it down the drain? The way I told you. The way you told me. Okay, so we want two of these from you, right? Not just that. She spoke ill of him in front of the customers. Who does that? Setting and rude to me, I really can't stand it. Oh, I would never be. Just wait, baby. One of the other members saw her shouting at him straight up, walked to her, and asked her if she was always this mean. Honestly, it was disheartening to watch that the members had to help him out. The workers are the face of the company, and she ain't doing justice to it. And it was not just him. Let's assume for a second that she was just doing her job by correcting him. But wait till you see how she treated the customers. Your payment. Huh? Your payment's overdue. No, no. You have to pay today. It's very frustrating for me to listen to this happen, have other people that can hear in an earshot. And obviously, she doesn't stop there. She continued to be embarrassing. Yes. Today. Lucky me. I'm going to make it the best shape in the world right now. Just do it. The members were so disappointed in her, you could almost feel it. And why wouldn't they be? This manager was a menace who in turn acted like a boss. Guess what? She never stopped. She continued screaming at the member. And honestly, I'm having secondhand embarrassment over here. What do you think the CEO should do? He was done with her attitude. And we all know what comes next. The franchise had to know what the management was doing over here. To me, she was a total mess. And all she was doing was to harm the company's reputation. In the end, the reaction the boss had was just as frustrated as she acted on her shifts. What do you say right now? None that is going to be acceptable. Okay. So you can, okay. don't waste both our time. Okay. Because okay. it makes no sense that you would treat someone that way. You can see how arrogant she was even now. It was like she was hearing it from one ear and letting it off from another. When the boss confronted her about the smoothie she flushed down the drain, she made the most annoying face and was unbothered by it. Honestly, the company is way better off without her. And she did not stop there. She kept arguing. And we all know how things get heated with that. Person, because you're completely wrong about that. Told me about you as an employee. You don't, I, don't, you I don't know you as a person. You don't know me exactly. I don't want to know you as a person. Okay, well, you know what? That's you're not my employee. And this doesn't end here. The manager had zero respect for her boss and even called it unfortunate that he didn't know her as a person. Okay, well, you know what? That's, that's unfortunate what you for you. You're not my employee. You're someone else. Okay. Tell me what you think about that as an employee of the company. Phew. That turned out to be something. But now, let's hear what Bob, the franchise owner, had to say about this. I don't like this. I'm disappointed, Jack. You have to part ways. So do you think she'll ever have a change of heart? Well, of course not. Watch this. I don't know what you want me to say in that situation. All right, well, there's, uh, there's one other person that I, I want to be part of. Well, good behavior towards customers is a need that cannot be compromised. But this next employee was so brash that in the end, things took a shocking turn. Yeah. Ma'am, ma'am, Elizabeth, no, not, you're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk, so I can't help you, That's Elizabeth. Right. I'm sorry that you're having a hard time. Do you think the CEO would accept this behavior towards the customers? Let's find out. Danielle is the escaping operation member at GSI, and the first thing she said to him was that he sounds underconfident and should just fake the confidence like he had been working here for 10 years. It would be the punching bag and and take the abuse. You ready to do this? I am. All right, let's do it. Hit the auto in. Wow, what kind of advice was that? During a call, the customer had an issue, and while the undercover CEO was talking to her respectfully and trying to understand her point, Danielle told him he was messing up and transferred the call to herself, and what she did was unacceptable. She was very rude to the customer and just wanted to prove her point and not hear the customer at all. You're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk, so I can't. I'm sorry that you're having a hard time. What kind of service is that? Seeing this, the CEO was so annoyed and was doing everything he could to hold back his anger. Yeah, I was doing right. She had an attitude with customers. I'm happy. I can give you corporate's number if you'd like so you can contact me. It's no wonder that the CEO went from heartbroken to straight frustrated after that incident. Now, there's a chance that she might have been right and the customer might have been equally rude. But in this case, clearly she was arrogant. He even said that this was her lucky day since they were filming or else she'd be thrown out of the job at that very moment. It's time so the next customer doesn't have to hang up really angry. Well, I'm thankful she was not as arrogant as the previous and actually trying to prove herself right. Instead, she accepted that what she did was wrong and I'm sure the boss acknowledged that in return. Hopefully, she will keep all this in mind during her next job. Oh, and he lies. Dude, this is so disrespectful and dumb of him to lie in front of the CEO. This is a delivery driver. Really? I don't want to make a deal with you. 
Well, he definitely had that. Who do you think was the worst of them all? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Catch you later, guys.